everyone, I'm Lisa and I'm from The Pretty Sweaty Stuff. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick um, post-run, post-workout or warm-up class. So like I just said, this class is going to be specifically for runners, but you don't have to be a runner. You can just do it as, again, as a pre or post warm-up. You can do it as a nice, generic, easy-going flow, um, nice lunch break as well. So for the purpose of the title, I'm going to be using two blocks. You don't need anything. You can use a stool or a wall, just something that can give you a little bit of height once you found everything, got what you need, you feel ready, I'll meet you right here on the mat. So I'm going to sit on an edge of a block. You can um, use a couple of cushions or a few cushions, something that will help bring the knees a little bit lower than the hips so that you can sit nice and tall as well. You can really feel comfortable. Closing down the eyes. And just really relax yourself here. Noticing how you are. And just bear that in mind. Noticing the natural rhythm of the breath, of the inhales and of the exhales. Using the breath as a tool to keep you present, to keep you focused onto this mat and into this moment. Taking big inhales and easy exhales through the nose. Maybe a slight whisper in the out breath, that ujjayi breath. If it's not in your practice or if you have no idea what I'm on about, then just go with the inhales and exhales in through the nose. Easy exhales through the nose. When you're ready, gently blink the eyes open. And reach the arms up towards the ceiling. So as you reach the arms up towards the ceiling, notice how long my spine here. Grounding the sitting bones into the mat, pulling the crown of the head towards the ceiling. How many arms by your ears or by the cheekbone feels a little bit restricted, then you can just bring it forwards. Finding as much length, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, drop the left hand to the outside of the left hip, gentle side bend over. So maybe tense onto the fingertips, release the hand. If it feels okay, feels good, you can lower the left forearm down. Remember to keep that nice, easy breath. Inhale, lift to centre, and as you exhale, take it to the other side. And then come in all the way up. Just gently remove the block for now. And then we'll come to our hands and knees tabletop position. Hands about shoulder width distance apart. Have your index finger roughly pointing forwards. If you need a little bit more space across the shoulders, maybe go wider, turn the fingertips outwards. Knees underneath the hips will come for a few rounds of cat cow. So inhale, drop the belly, pull the chest through the arms, look up. Really find that deep back bend here. Remember to keep the belly engaged. And as you exhale, we'll go the other way. So round, chin to chest, push the ground away from you. Spread into the shoulder blades. And then just do a few more in your own time. Just really connect some movement with the breath. Allow it to feel good. Feel the stretch and the work.
and then come into a nice neutral spine. Leaning towards this right hand, swing this right shin back behind you. Roll the body open towards the left, modified side plank, reach the left arm up. Keep this left foot grounded and think about stacking the shoulders on top of each other, hips on top of hips. Keep hollowing out the belly, press a lot into that left foot, inhale, lift the torso up, exhale, left hand down the left leg, right arm reaches up and over, gate pose. Spread into the right ribs, find as much length as you can. And then slowly lift all the way up, release the hands to the ground, and then square the hips off to the front of the mat, lift your left leg up. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, step your left foot forward, lower lunge. Checking that the front knee's on top of the ankle, so you can always scooch if you need to. Squeeze the inner thighs together, we'll reach the arms up. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, drop your left hand on top of the hip, side bend over towards the right, uh, left, sorry. Really pressing into that right knee, and then you might find that extra stretch in the psoas. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Tuck the back toes under if they're not already. Find about hip width distance apart in the feet. They should be already, but just check in. When you're ready, lift up high lunge. Be super strong in this back leg, okay? So that's why I, I tend to like to teach it with the heel on top of the toes. If it feels a little bit too much already in the front of the uh, right leg, then you can always just shorten the stance. Grow nice and tall, hollow out the belly, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, just tap the right knee down. Inhale, lift. Keep this front knee bent. Exhale, tap. One last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Bring the right knee all the way down, half splits, front leg straightens. This is where the block's going to come handy. So if you are athletic, chances are you're quite tense in the back body or just generally going to be athletic. So we're going to lift the floor up to us, okay? And that's what the block will do. Keeping the nice long length of the spine, I'm pulling my head forwards as I pull my left hip back. And then notice that my I'm sitting up so that the hips on top of the right knee and not like leaning back. Up to you if you want to, but I like to tend to do it this way personally for me. Peeling the toenails back towards the face, find a little bit more length. Nice ease of the left hamstring. Take one more big inhale, and as you exhale, swing this left leg behind you, you can use the blocks, and bring the hands to the ground. Bring your left leg towards the outside of the left hip, so ground your left foot, and then just slightly reach the arms out in front of you. Bring your right hand to centre, inhale, reach your left arm up, hollow out the belly, and as you exhale, thread the needle, left arm sweeps underneath the right arm. So you either prop yourself up, the head up with a block, or blocks, or if it feels okay, you can go all the way down. You can stay here, maybe reach your right arm out, you can reach your right arm around your lower back, completely up to you, depending on what you need today. And then press through the hands, slowly lift all the way up, reset into your tabletop position. Going back into your cow, cat's cow, sorry, if you want to take any other movement like wiggle, wiggle, side to side, it's up to you. And just again, find your breath. So this is really only the moving meditation in this sequence. So then that will be I need a little bit more stillness in the back. Just make this your last one wherever you are. Reset into your tabletop. Okay. 
Lean towards your left hand, sweep your left foot behind you, modified side plank, roll the body open. Reach your right arm high, and then just check in that you've got your base here. Press a lot into the outer right foot, inhale, lift the torso up, and as you exhale, right hand down your right leg, the left arm reaches up and over, spreading into the left ribs. And then lift all the way up. Release the hands to the ground or step your right foot forward. Find your foundation here. Squeeze into the inner thighs. Inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, right hand on top of the right hip or side bend over. Resist the urge to open up this right knee. Okay, find the engagement in this right leg and the hip. Reaching the arms up towards the ceiling, tuck the left toes and if they're not already. Find your foundation, find your base. Be strong in the pelvic floor and then lift it up, high lunge. So think about lifting up rather than hinging forward, which is really common here. Adjust yourself to see how your body is. Did you just see that in the belly, by the way? Obviously not if you're not looking, but notice how this is me not engaging the core. This is what happens, yeah? When you draw the belly in, find a nice neutral uh, pelvis. Don't go crazy with the keys though, as I always say. So take a deep inhale through the nose and as you exhale, tap the left knee to the ground. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. One more nice and easy. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap all the way down, half splits. Grab what you need. Front leg is straight. Pull back on that right hip again. Dig the ground with that right heel. Activate into the quad to protect that hamstring. And most importantly, breathe really nice and easy. So remember that you should be stretching into the belly of the muscle, the muscle, not the ligaments. So you feel any pain, the breath starts to change, you've just gone a little bit too far, so just back off it, it's really important. When you're ready, just remove the blocks if you've got them. Bring the hands to the ground and sweep your right leg to the outside of the right hip. Ground it down, almost like you're in that warrior two. And then place your left hand to in the center. Squeeze the left knee and the right foot together so you've got a bit of activation in the groin. Inhale, reach your right arm up. And as you exhale, thread the needle right arm underneath the left. Prop yourself up with, again if you'd like and if you prefer to. You can always find the ground with the cheek or the forehead. And then come in all the way up when you feel ready. You set in a nice, comfortable seated position. Close down the eyes. And soften back on inwards again. Just simply staying alert here. Returning back to your natural breath. We'll take one controlled breath together. Take a big inhale, really fill up all the way to the top. 
Send the biggest sigh out. Bring the hands together and bow the head forward. Show love and gratitude to yourself and to this practice. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Thank you so much. You can pause in between the videos if you like. So it's so. Thank you so much. So you can obviously you can hit pause whenever you want to stay a little bit longer in a stretch. You can repeat it, do it as many times as you like, obviously. Please let me know how you found this video. You can tag me on social media, on Instagram, at the pretty sweaty stuff, or you can just comment or like, or just pop me a message. Thank you so much. See you soon.